With the destruction of the crypto markets as of late, there isn't much to be excited about. Although, if you read between the lines, the progress of crypto hasn't slowed down one bit. The world's largest companies are making big moves while retail plebs panic. So stay cool, don't hit the panic button, because it's time for Chico Crypto. Large companies making big crypto moves? Well, last week we got news that the energy giant Shell is going to be launching a Bitcoin mining initiative during the Bitcoin Miami 2023 conference next year. But Shell and their love for blockchain goes way back. In January of 2018, nearly five years ago, it was announced Applied Blockchain secured an investment from Shell Trading. Then months later, Shell's CEO, Ben Van Buren, announced the results of their collaboration. This was the world's first energy derivatives trade executed on a live blockchain solution. But let's rewind even further back in time as the importance of one blockchain company becomes highly apparent. As we can see from this 2017 press release from Energy Web co-founder RMI, the other founders were a swath of energy giants, including Shell. This partnership was conjured all the way back in 2017. But if you go to Shell's website today, you can see they have a section on blockchain technology. And if you go to their activity and click into new energies, they tout their partnership with EWC, saying they they are a founding member. So the importance of Energy Web to Shell is apparent, but it gets even clearer when you connect this. Going back to Applied Blockchain's investment from Shell, we can see the news of this came in January of 2018. By November of 2018, the two entities did an energy derivatives trade. What do you think happened months before their derivative POC went live? Applied Blockchain joined Energy Web, and the subheading gives a reason for the collaboration. Following recent investment from Shell, Applied Blockchain collaborates with a nonprofit organization, Energy Web. Shell was the reason this collaboration went down. Doesn't it seem to you Energy Web is significantly important to Shell? Well, it gets even more interesting. Sabine Brink, Shell's head of blockchain and Web3, got interviewed on the Insure Blocks podcast. Let's listen in. Here we've joined a couple of non-for-profits, uh, which we see as key enablers for us to accelerate any use cases in the space. Shell has been a partner with, uh, with the Energy Web Foundation for about the last three years or so. And I think this is one of the key critical enablers for us to deploy uh, uh, decentralized applications within this renewable energy space. So uh, for us, it's a, it's a great partnership to have. Sabine says a nonprofit they joined is a key enabler for Shell to accelerate and deploy any solutions into the decentralized energy space. And then she reveals that it's Energy Web. So Energy Web is a key partner and enabler of Shell into the Web3 space. Now let's get into some of those example projects she is speaking about. If we go to Energy Web's website, we can see there is a section on the 24-7 software development kit. And they say, in light of increasing interest for highly granule renewables accounting and sourcing, Energy Web, in cooperation with select members, is developing a 24-7 software toolkit. I wonder who they built this in collaboration with. Well, at the bottom, they have the partners. First, Elia. Second, SB Group. And third is Shell. And if we read more, we can get confirmation of the development partnership. It says, Shell is pleased to be partnering with Energy Web to develop functionalities which aim to provide 24-7 insights on renewable electricity consumption. And then in February, Energy Web and Shell both presented the proof of concept, diving into how the tracking and matching of energy happened with Energy Web Tech. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Their collaboration goes even deeper. In June, it was announced in a press release that Shell, Accenture, and Amex GBT were launching one of the world's first blockchain-powered digital book and claim solutions for scaling sustainable aviation fuel. And the article states, 
Shell, Accenture, and American Express Global Business Travel are jointly announcing the launch of Avelia, which was developed by Shell and Accenture with the support of the Energy Web Foundation. Going to Avelia's website, we can see that yes, it's being built with support from Energy Web, but they say Avelia is using blockchain technology to provide clear and transparent tracking of the environmental attributes of the sustainable aviation fuel, but then say, Energy Web serves as technical advisor, providing technology and product expertise on the platform's design and architecture. We are proud to use Energy Web's blockchain capabilities. Although this goes beyond just aviation fuel, both Sabine and Dan Jevons, Shell's VP of Computational Science and Digital Innovation, gave a presentation on Web3 and blockchain at Shell just a few months ago, and Dan expanded on both collaborations with Energy Web. Let's listen in. I, I think it's a few things. Um, so, of course, you know, you can translate short term what Sabine's talking about to more or less any energy product. So, whether it's green hydrogen, whether it's uh, you know, renewable diesel, right? You can think about all of these things where they have the same requirements. And so of course we're looking at that and, and we see real opportunity given our capabilities in blockchain and the, the capabilities in Sabine's team to really try and accelerate that and, and to not just focus on sustainable aviation fuel and power, but really broaden across a whole class of new products in the energy sector. And I find that extremely exciting. He explains that this is getting expanded into other forms of renewable energy like green hydrogen and renewable diesel. Now let's read between the lines to get a picture of how big this is going to be. Back in September of last year, Shell announced they were building one of the largest biofuel facilities in all of Europe. And the article says, Today's announcement is a key part of the transformation of one of our major refineries into an energy and chemicals park. As part of its powering progress strategy, Shell is transforming its refineries into five energy and chemical parks. Shell aims to reduce the production of traditional fuels by 55% by 2030 and provide more low carbon fuels such as biofuels for road transport and aviation and hydrogen. The Rotterdam Biofuels Facility is expected to start production in 2024. It will produce low carbon fuels such as renewable diesel. Sustainable aviation fuel could make up more than half of the 820,000 tons a year capacity, with the rest being renewable diesel. Hydrogen, renewable diesel, and sustainable aviation fuel are all mentioned as an output for the Shell Chemical Park. Exactly what Energy Web will be tracking, tracing, and verifying in collaboration with Shell. Obviously, Energy Web will be a critical backbone to Shell's energy refinery of the future. Now, let's go even deeper. To do this, we need to check out 06. 06 is a tokenized platform that incentivizes oil and gas producers to shut off their wells early and turn unextracted, unburned oil and gas into high-integrity carbon credits. In an explainer of the platform, they say, 06 carbon credits are based on highly regulated government agency reporting about fossil reserves. These proofs are automatically anchored to the Energy Web blockchain, making the process seamless for producers. They then dive into carbon credit token creation, saying, These steps, ensuring accuracy, additionally, and permanence, are anchored to the Energy Web chain by storing documents on IPFS and securing the document hashes on the EWC, resulting in a full provenance trail. This yields a transparent carbon token. Yeah, a carbon credit market and registry is being deployed on EWC. And then from the 06 white paper, it says, to build the world's most reliable and transparent carbon token, we chose a public chain, the Energy Web chain, that delivers transaction speed, reliability, low transaction costs, and importantly, low energy consumption. But why is this important and how does it tie into Shell? Well, if we go to the 06 team, Martin Deck is their CEO. If we go to his LinkedIn, we can see he formerly was a high-ranking executive at Shell, a vice president for a whopping 25 years. Then Scott Frazier is 06's co-founder and strategic advisor. 
checking out his LinkedIn, he still works for them in the new venture department and has been there for nearly 11 years. Then Arno Levin, who is Zero Six's COO, has also previously worked for Shell. He was the founder and lead of their blockchain center for excellence, but he was also working for Energy Web as their head of strategy and market development. But now let's get back to Bitcoin. Remember, Energy Web green proofs are what enable all of this. In the introduction of this tech, Energy Web says, green proofs make it easy to establish a transparent audit trail, proving that a given unit of energy or a given product, example, electricity, hydrogen, carbon offsets, aviation fuel, green steel is in fact green. But what else do green proofs track and trace? Well, they have a special section on them titled Green Proofs for BTC. Now, if Shell is going to be diving into the Bitcoin mining industry, you would think they would be using the template for the solution they built for fuels in collaboration with Energy Web. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, and I would almost guarantee it. But my friends, Shell isn't the only player connected to Energy Web, especially when it comes to sustainable aviation fuels. Solid researcher who focuses on Energy Web, Detective Mickey, leaked this to me. Give him a follow if you want the alpha first. But the co-founder of Energy Web Foundation, RMI, just released something called SABA, or the Sustainable Aviation Buyers Alliance. And as we can see, the founding companies are big players. Bank of America, Boeing, Deloitte, Meta, JP Morgan, Microsoft, Netflix, and Salesforce. And as we can see, the technology support is coming from Energy Web. So how do you like those research apples? Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.